Hey guys, my name is Puspinder Sani. Once again, I came with a very interesting tutorial. And this tutorial I have made on the request of my viewers. Actually, they are asking how directly we can import Unity library into the Android, native Android application. So the video is completely based on Unity and Android. How we can import library from Unity and how we can use that library into the Android application. So let's begin with development without wasting time. So guys, I will uh, implement this tutorial on the basis of 2020.1.0b9 beta version. This is the latest version I am using right now. So I will create project with the help of this one. Okay. So guys, from here I am going to create one new Unity project. I am choosing new version unity example okay now i'm creating this on my location from here i have select my location desktop click on create button it will take some time to create so here is my first project this is my main storyboard from here i'm going to create one panel where i will take one button so on the click of that button i will revert to my native android application it's ui and panel this is my panel inside the panel i'm going to create one button it's my button on click of this button i will quit from my unity game okay i'm going to give the name to this one click on me for exit okay now i'll create one script plain script so for that as you know about the standard i will create one separate folder called as scripts and inside that i'm going to create one c sub file and we can say main game play okay now i will double click on this one and i will open for edit so here it is this is my script from here i'm cleaning this update function now i will use one more package which is unity engine dot ui okay after that we can extend all the functionality of buttons and all so public button and this is button now i can assign the layout of this button from my gameplay so open unity and here it is first of all we have to assign the script to our game uh, gameplay panel so i will assign like that here it is now we have to assign the button so i will drag and drop over here so it's done i'll set the click event for this button so start typing button dot on click dot add listener from here we can set the listener to our project here it is okay and semicolon now we can quit our application application dot quit so this is the function which will work for android now open your unity so from here select your platform it will take again some time for switching the platforms my platform has been changed now i will open player settings this is my player settings here we will verify each and everything is fine or not first of all as you know you have to change the package name okay so here you can give package name of your application here your company name suppose it is pushpendra or you can give anything whatever you want okay scripting backend make sure it should be il2cpp that's it apart from this you do not have to do any changes in your code once you're done with it then save the settings 
close and from build setting screen check the export button and when you once you check then you can export this unity code into the android one so click on export select the location where you would like to export your code so i will export on desktop here i can say unity android again so click on create button and select choose it will take some time to exporting the complete unity project into the android so just wait and watch so guys here it is your unity code okay and this is the unity library which we have to use in our application so from here you, now the unity work has been complete you can close this project this is also you can close from here i'm creating one new android project so from here start a new android studio project as a normal and you can take empty activity project click on next here give the location of the project i'm choosing desktop and here i'm creating android project click on create button open and from here you can give the name of your company so it's fine now you can give the name of your application let's say unity android or i can say unity native android okay from here either select kotlin or java it's depend on you which language you know better so i am starting with java i know i know kotlin as well but it's easy because java is completely user friendly language click on finish it will take some time to gradle and building each and everything so the uh, gradle and building has been completed now we have to do the actual work for android application okay so first work is how we can use the unity library in our existing android application so for that this is my main activity means whenever my application launch then this activity will come into the picture okay now from here what we have to do i will create one uh, one more activity for handling the task so we can say activity from here empty activity and we can say it is unity handler activity now click on finish button and it will create automatically in your project from main activity i am calling directly start activity because the mediator activity is mandatory in unity plugins okay it is new intent and from here we can see this comma unity handler activity dot class fine now the new activity will appear and from here i will take one button this i am changing with linear layout and here i'll take one button button with the wrap content height wrap content width and this i am taking into the center so i'll give the gravity to the center okay now i will give the text to this button my unity game okay from here i'll take the id so that i can access this button in my code so from here i'll copy this and i will open here from here button and this is find 
view by id r dot id dot and this is my button those person who know android development they can easily understand but this is also not that much difficult you can easily understand this one now i will create a click event for a button set on click listener and from here new on view click listener okay means on the click of this button you can open your unit again so the android work is completed now we have to use that plugin so first task is open your settings dot grader here you will see root name and include here we have to write to line which is unity team already given so from here copy this one and i will tell you this is the name of the plugin okay and this is project and this is the path of the plugin with the name okay so what i am going to do this is my unity android plugin from here i will copy this unity library and i will paste in my android application so it will be in safe mode always okay now i can access this unity library from here i will copy the location of this folder and i will paste here so, so here it is this is the complete path of my unity library now what is the next task they are suggesting the second task they are saying that use the plugin into your uh, project okay so what you have to do for that you have to copy this line and you have to paste into your main bundle file okay so this is your module app this is your main file where you have to use this file so here it is now secondly what they are suggesting that use this line in your native android app file build dot gradle project level so also copy this file fred dir and open your native files and from here you can see all repositories and all project so from here i am going to insert this line okay now what they are suggesting second thing they are saying that project is ready so now it's time to sync once we sync then it will take some time and after that you will see the unity library in your android application now we have to use that library okay so open your unity handler activity from here we have to launch unity game so intent now we are creating the intent of unity library okay new intent from here this comma unity player activity dot class and once you extend this then you will see the unity player library will come from the unity 3d player package and this will be unity handler dot this after that start activity here we will pass the intent now we will run our application and we are going to see the output it's saying that ndk is not installed in your application so i'll go to my sdk manager from here i will check it out sdk tool and this is android sdk sorry ndk now i will click on apply okay it will take some time and after that i hope it it can start working so the installing done now i will try click on apply okay now again i will sync my project and after syncing now this time i will run on simulator and we'll see the output
now there is one more error they are saying that install and decay this this version so again it will take some time that's all about the plugins and the dependency so don't be frustrated about it just keep doing what they are suggesting it will be good never mind it it's technology so guys it's done click on finish and again sync and try to install in simulator and it's building i think this time we will success so it's installing on my simulator and here it is now if i click on my unity game then so it's saying that lib main dot so not found so for that we have to okay so for that open your uh, main bundle file and inside default config write and decay with version this okay now sync again stop and run your application once again click on my unity and again it's breaking and what this time error it's saying that unable to start activity okay now open res folder and inside the r oh, sorry not this one the main application res folder from here values string inside the string you require one string which is game view content description here you can say game view okay the name must be same now again run launch application and again i will click on my unity and this time unity application has been successfully launch and here is click on me once i click on this then my unity application has been clear again if i click on my unity game and now if i click on exit then it will exit okay. one more thing guys i would like to tell you that from unity library open manifest file and here you will find android intent intent filter like that like that you will get over here so you need to remove this this line from unity library okay otherwise two icon will be created on your mobile desktop okay after that you can run easily and you can get your application ready on your phone okay so guys i hope it's very clear to you if you have any doubt related to this complete tutorial then please comment into the comment box and please subscribe the youtube channel because i research hard about this video